Hey, awesome editors. Welcome to the part three of composition tutorial. Those who are new here, we are going to look into the breakdown of this composition. I have given overview of breakdown in part two of what are going to do in this part. So without wasting any time, let's do Bankai this time and get into the tutorial and complete our step four and five. And between these are the new compositions Bro is working on. Currently, they are in editing phase. You'll see these in the new edit. Maybe Bro's dropping tomorrow. You be yatch. Come here. Ah! I'm spoiling everything. <laughs> the thing that forgot to add in part two is that you can make a duplicate of smooth bevel layer and remove Gaussian blur, then change blending mode to color dodge. And increase the size of this layer to match the edges so it fits perfectly. You can keep only one if you want. Here I'm just reducing transparency so it doesn't look too much. Once you do the composition again and again, you will start to understand what really looks good and what doesn't. And keep try to understand how coloring and lighting works. Your work will improve. Even I think that I can make more better compositions. I'll keep updating if I find something new. And now we are on the step to add overlays. I have exported the overlays one by one, so I don't waste your time to find overlays. Because literally I have over 500 plus overlays. Let's move on to adding overlays. First we're going to add glass break layer, then put it behind main character. Change blending mode to overlay. Now I am increasing brightness and contrast so that shines in glass break are clear and more brighter, which is totally optional. If you like this, then you can try this. Now we're gonna add dust overlay in the clip and keep the dust layer behind the character for now. Change blending mode to linear dodge. Then duplicate the dust layer and put this new dust layer over the character. And change blending mode to color dodge for this new dust layer. Then we adding lens flare above all layers and then just change blending mode to linear dodge. Now we're going to add this sparkling particles overlay to enhance or add some colors in the scene. I will give direct drive link for these overlays, just comment down if need any. Put this layer below the character. Here I'm just checking blending modes in which this layer will look good. I changed it to color mode. then decrease the transparency because I think colors were too much in that. You can choose any blending mode as of your needs and where to put the layer. And now we adding blood overlay and put it behind. And changing blending mode to linear dodge. Then change color according to the scene. You can use chroma key for this aside from using blending mode. Want me to do it? Nah, we can do it ourselves. Good, just use color black and chroma key and you're done. And now adding this overlay, then putting it behind the character. Then change blending mode to color. The color of the overlay is purple, which we need for the scene, so it settles the coloring in scene. Then duplicate this overlay, then change blending mode to linear dodge. Here I didn't like the blood's visibility. 
so I'm changing brightness and contrast to make it more clear to be visible and to look better. Now do you remember that I told you in last part that if the key spill cleaner desaturate the character too much, I'll tell a method to fix that. Oh yes, we do remember. Now is the time, tell us. Good. Now we are going to do a method to blend character's color according to the scene. And you can use this method to fix key spill cleaner ruin. I'm telling you this here, so it could save your time. And learn a method to use it for two different situations. Let's see the method. Just duplicate masked character layer. Add hot color, then set colors. Then change blending mode to soft overlay. You can set transparency accordingly as it suits the scene. You can always play with coloring effects to get new things or to make scenes more gorgeous. And now as our step four is complete, let's export and check out the result. Now this is looking good, but still we need to add some post touches to blend the scene into one. Moving on to step five, now we're gonna add some final post touches which includes coloring and adding HDR CC. Here I am copying final post effects and we'll paste them in our original project. Our first layer is gradient set to settle overall color of the scene. Gradient is of two colors, one is black and other is some shade of dark blue. Here you can take screenshot of that color if you want that. And if you don't know how to make gradient, then check out how I am doing it. Blending mode of this gradient layer is color dodge. Second layer is just exposure and gamma and flicker. You can see the values and can copy them. And blending mode of this layer is normal. And just change transparency to about 60 to 70. Here the value is 69. Third layer is that HDRCC layer that I showed you earlier, which I have shown in part two if you want that check description. Fourth layer is color temperature layer. You can see my setting values. Blending mode of this layer is normal. Fifth layer is hot color layer, which is totally optional. Here you can see mine settings and you can try on your own. Blending mode is dark and with transparency 20%. Here the sixth layer is just channel RGB effect. It's a bit complicated to tell in details. I'll just give XML of these all layer check description. And this seventh layer is just experimental layer. I was trying new thing through which you can change whole color of the scene to a new different one in just one click. Let me know in comments if you want to learn how to do that. Currently, I am trying to study some color theories and some experimental things, so stay tuned. Now let's check out the result. Here is the result. Comment down your opinion on this. And if you learned something new, leave a like.